Sometimes we just want to have some nice wallpaper on our models. And of course, you can go to Google and just find some wallpaper textures. Uh, but that might be a problem when you're actually giving this to your carpenters and they're going to put this up to actually get the wallpaper that match, uh, matches your reference that you found on the internet. So what I would rather do is actually use real uh, wallpapers. The way to do that is uh, going to Google and uh, or Chrome and write in www.wallpapermatch wallpapermatch.com and that will take you to this site uh, which I'm not going to even going to try and pronounce and we can gonna go here and select language it's on Swedish uh, uh, by default we're gonna go English so this site is mainly if you're in uh, in England or Norway Sweden or Pol Poland uh, but I think that this would probably work if you have your own uh, website that has wallpapers you can use the same technique so if we go to wallpapers here we, we have like a huge collection uh, which you can select from and all these are real wallpapers that you can actually order from this site which is really nice so we can go and select by color pattern styles uh, whatever you're looking for let's go to form for an art deco uh, pattern here and see if we can't find something that's uh, nice and uh, let's go for well this looks okay hidden ivy and what you can see here is a preview of uh, one registry and uh, if you go down here to specification it also tells you the roll width which is 53 centimeters uh, problem is if you right click here you can't really save this image which is kind of dumb really. Uh, I think they're afraid that you're going to steal this and just print it yourself. To tell you the truth, that would be more expensive than just buying the wallpaper. So I have no idea why they actually want to hide this. But the way to get them out of this is, of course, you can do a screen grab, but that takes a long time. So just go right click and go inspect. <clears throat> and that will automatically highlight uh, the link in the code. And this can look a bit int intimidating, but if you just hover over here, you can actually see that it has a link to the image there and you can see a little preview there. If I just right click on that, I can go open in new tab. And this is a registry uh, that uh, we uh, want to use. And uh, I know for a fact that this is one registry, so at, at one width of, uh, of a row. So this should be 53 centimeters from one end to the other. So we're gonna go save image and just put that in a folder that you can find later for SketchUp. So just simply find the folder uh, with your image in and just push, uh, just pull that image onto your SketchUp model and you can resize it and try to make it uh, nice, uh, but you can also make it a bit more precise. Uh, what you can do is of course right click and go use as material and then you'll get it into your material bin here. Uh, what you also can do is just explode it. If you explode it, it will automatically turn into a material. And uh, then you can right click, uh, use the pipette tool, and that would automatically bring it up in your edit here in materials. So here we can go to the width. It's supposed to be 53 centimeters wide. So you can set that, set that here, and then it should be correct. The way we know that is because of this. In the website, it said roll width. 0 0.53 meters. So now when we set that, we can just use the paint bucket and just fill our wall. And there you have it. So that is a nice way to make uh, uh, wallpapers in SketchUp that are correct.